Now let's see, are there any rules that will help us uh, uh, determine which pitch pattern is uh, uh, more appropriate for a particular uh, art trends? Uh, again, um, if you remember, I told you when it comes to intonation, things are rather um, sensitive, right? They are done um, at the mostly unconscious level, but still we can find some regularities. So let's see grammar and intonation. What kind of uh, pitch pattern, what kind of intonation will we have when we um, ask information questions or the so-called special questions. So uh, falling intonation, low fall, uh, if it is asked for the first time and if we are really interested in the answer, we don't know the answer, we um, want to find out. Um, what's your name? What's the time? Where do you live? Okay, what about questions expecting yes or no answers or the so-called general questions? Then the intonation is going to be rising, so low rise. Uh, is it the blue one? Have you got the pen? Okay, when it comes to statement, falling intonation, low fall. He lives in the house on the corner. It's over there. Imperatives, again falling intonation, uh, stand up, sit down, put your phone on the table, uh, question tags expecting confirmation, what do you think, falling intonation, yes, um, you're English aren't you, he's very tall isn't he, uh, she's beautiful isn't she, so uh, we are not um, asking to find out something new, right? We are just looking for confirmation. We know it's like this. So actually these questions, these types of question tags are used in conversation to have small talk. And question tags showing less certainty when we really want to find out um, your opinion, right? Then the intonation is rising. Oh, uh, you're English, aren't you? He's very tall, isn't he? Your train leaves at six, doesn't it? So I don't know for sure. So that's why I'm raising my uh, tone. Uh, when it comes to list of the items, then we are going to have rising, rising intonation. And then um, on the final item, the intonation is going to fall. Let's see an example. Uh, you need a pen, a pencil, and some paper. So that would mean that we have one tune, the second tune, and that would be the third tune. Um, the stall sells ribbons, beads, elastic, and buttons. Okay. Okay. General questions. Um, we have already said that usually, right, the intonation is rising, but there is an exception here. What do we have here? We uh, just, again, we have a kind of a list, uh, and that would mean that the intonation will be falling. Uh, is it the blue one? No. Is it the red one? Okay. Is it the green one? Okay. So um, now I would like um, you to read the Mm, a text. Uh, definitely I would, like, I would like you to record yourselves while reading the text, so uh, I will show the text on the screen in a moment. Um, read it, record it yourself, uh, pause the video uh, and read it and record it.